Hello, and welcome to Clinical Liver Disease video series. CLD is an official digital learning publication of the AASLD. I'm Jennifer Wang, a transplant hepatologist at University of Illinois Chicago and social media editor with CLD. I have the distinct privilege of being with Dr. Anna Locke, Professor of Medicine and Director of Clinical Hepatology at University of Michigan to discuss her article, How to Achieve Functional Cure of Chronic Hepatitis B Infection, published in CLD. Dr. Locke, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure. So we're going to get right into your article on the functional cure of hepatitis B. To start, could you tell our viewers what is the functional cure of hepatitis B and how is it different from current treatment target? Well, functional cure is um, defined as hepatitis B as antigen loss and undetectable HBV DNA, which is sustained for at least 24 weeks after completing a finite course of um, treatment. Um, and the big difference between functional cure and current treatment is that functional cure aims at being able to stop treatment and that the virus replication and viral protein suppression is maintained. Whereas with um, current treatment, um, we do have um, two options, peculated interferon and nucleoside nucleotide analogs. But majority of the patients are being treated with the nukes. And with new therapy, very few patients meet criteria for stopping treatment. And even among the few that meet criteria for stopping treatment, there's still a risk of biological relapse and clinical relapse. And many patients do ultimately have to resume treatment. I see. And then it sounds like, you know, with the functional cure is, is really the ideal treatment target for, for our patients. Um, but what does it take to achieve functional cure? Well, in order to do so, we will have to be able to completely suppress virus replication, as well as um, decrease, uh, eliminate viral protein production. To maintain that, we'll also need to restore immune response to hepatitis B. And this usually requires that we have antiviral therapy plus immune modulatory therapy, that we shut down not only CCC DNA replication, but also viral protein production from the integrated HBV DNA. Got it. So, so it sounds like maybe combination therapy might be needed. Are there some concerns about combination therapy to achieve functional cure? Yeah, definitely this is not going to be achieved with um, just one drug or one class of drugs. And combination therapy is going to be necessary. Uh, the question is, uh, what combination um, and how many different classes of drugs are we going to need? Um, and do we start all of them at the same time or do we do it um, sequentially? Um, the other question is, whether we um, would have one size fit all or whether we need to characterize the patient so that um, certain patients might need less and other patients might need more. In certain patients, uh, we have to assess the initial response um, before we add on other therapy. And that's really the art of medicine. We have the science, but we have to still figure out how to personalize to get a best response uh, with the least complicated um, therapy. All right. So how close are we to achieving functional cure? So we first started um, talking about hepatitis B cure uh, about 10 years ago, and that's with the excitement of um, hep C um, cure. Um, and um, we have made a lot of our progress, even though we don't have a cure in hand yet. Uh, we now have uh, many different classes of antivirals, uh, as well as many different types of immune modulatory therapies in clinical trials. And each one of them have shown some promise, but not enough. And as we talk about combination therapy would be necessary, um, and several clinical trials have looked at combinations of um, antiviral alone or antiviral um, plus immune modulatory therapy. Uh, the most exciting combination, unfortunately, uh, requires peculated interferon, which we have um, tried to um, get rid of um, for some time. Uh, but it seems to be making a revival, and um, the most recent studies um, show that um, combination that incorporate peculated interferon appear to have the highest um, chance of, a, um, of achieving a cure. Mm -hmm. I have to um, qualify that 
in a sense that clinical trials obviously select patients. So these are results that we see in clinical trials. Now in real life um, practice, um, some patients are not eligible or have contraindications mm -hmm. to papillated interferon. Uh, and some patients may not be able to tolerate papillated interferon. Um, so I think it's, uh, we are moving baby steps um, forward, uh, but we're not quite there yet. Got it. It's definitely an exciting time to be a hepatologist and looking forward to more trials coming out. Um, Dr. Locke, thank you so much for your insight and for this paper. I urge our viewers to read this paper. It's an excellent review on clinical trials of novel therapies, providing hope to our patients that hepatitis B cure could be cure achieved one day. Um, on behalf of all of us on the CLD team, I thank you again for your time, Dr. Locke. For our viewers, please visit us at www.cldlearning.com for more information. Thank you for watching. Well, thanks for having me.